all right welcome back to the channel i got this wonderful box in the mail yesterday was this morning this morning i walked out on the front porch and this lovely box from john at will it grow was here this is the seed box like the seed box right this is the one that has been going around to several YouTubers. Here's the book. This was started by Sandy at Suburban Homesteader. Okay. And it has gone to quite a few um, YouTube channels. Uh, the idea is that all these seeds were put into the box and you take the seeds out that you want to grow or a few of the seeds out of the packages that you want to grow from different YouTubers and then you put seeds back in. They're not lying when they say this is a little overwhelming. Um, there is a book that you sign and then a packet of in instructions very simple, very easy to understand, very easy to go go through. So, let me just show you guys some of the packages of seeds that are in here. I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, if you would like to get into a drawing to have this box sent to you, comment below. Um that you would like to participate in this um, box swap, this seed box, seed swap, I guess is what it would be called. Look at this. All right, so there is a little bit of um, cash also in the box for anybody who um, would like to participate, but is a little short on funds. So. And then we have this whole box of seeds. It is amazing. Like, um, see, along the River Homestead, there are some seeds in here. Uh, oh, purple cone, uh, purple, purple cone flower. I took a couple of seeds out of this package and then put them back. Um, I think I took six seeds, so I'm, I'm hoping that, um, they uh, they germinate really nicely for me, and I'm able to save seed off of those uh, forget-me-nots. And, oh, what other ones on there? There's, um, if there's some watermelon seeds in here too, guys, and some borage. Johnny Jump Ups. I was tempted. I was afraid that the Johnny Jump Ups would get lost in my wild garden. Um, let's see, Paragon Ranch, uh, you know what, I think Paragon Ranch had an okra seed in here that I really wanted. I don't, I didn't get any out. It's marigolds. Okay, so if you hadn't already noticed, I've gone through this box already um maybe it wasn't on ranch i've gone through this box already and i have gotten out um a good number of seeds uh morris patch of heaven homestead has a bunch of seeds in here as well i took uh, a couple of seeds out of there and i will show you guys the seeds that i i grabbed there was, and I know I didn't get any. Was it Pathways Homestead? They had an okra seed in here. And it was like, yes, this one was it. I'm going to probably say that last name wrong. So, I apologize. Grandpa Cargill's. Cargill's? 
okra. I didn't get any of this. There's a bunch in there. Do you see all that? No way do I need this many okra. So I'm going to take a few seeds out of here. I think that is kind of the idea of it, is to be able to share as many seeds with other people as possible. I'm going to write this down real quick so that way I can just put this seed packet back in here. Um, okay. So I am going to actually go to um, Pathways Homestead uh, YouTube channel and I'm going to check them out and see if there is a story behind this okra seed. I have a feeling there probably is. So I took a dozen seeds out of this packet. Look, it didn't hardly leave a dent in that um, and that's okay. Uh, because that just means that there are okra seeds that get to go to one of you guys or several of you guys. Um, follow the box, follow the channels. There really are a lot of really good seeds in here. And um, I kind of had, I kind of had a hard time um, really deciding on um, what seeds I wanted, uh, what seeds I uh would have space to try um and I mean, look at this look at that i'm just going to take this seed pack off it is so adorable some of these people got really creative with their seed packs look at that isn't that pretty it's sewn around it um this is some sweet corn. There's some morning glories in there. I, I don't plant morning glories because my um, yard is full of morning glories. But there's some more golden sweet corn. Um, yeah. I don't have space for corn, so I didn't take any of the corn. Uh, let me show you guys exactly what I took. Okay. are supposed to be sleeping. Shh. Okay. I got some German pink tomatoes for Morris Patch of Home and Heaven Homestead. Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead. Guys, please forgive me. It's really late. Um, it's like, oh, it's 1015 and I'm, I'm super tired. We've had a really long day at homeschool co-op today. So, um, I took four seeds of these tomato, these German pink tomato seeds, and I'm going to, um, uh, do, uh, just, I'm not going to put them in soil. I'm going to put them in a cup, uh, like a souffle cup with a, a, a step on lid. It's a to-go cup. I'll do a quick short, um, maybe in a day or two on how I do that. And I um, will germinate these. That way I know that all of these will germinate. You know what I mean? Like, I will get four of these German pink tomatoes, um, provided that the seed is, is viable. So, you know, that's always a chance that you take. And if not, that's fine. And then there were, there was a stars and moon watermelon. I almost bought these. Um, there are three I think seeds in this. So I will be um, growing these uh, stars and moon watermelon and then the purple purple coneflower from along the river homestead. I got um, probably a dozen seeds out of that pack. A hot Portugal hot pepper from Will It Grow. Um, I got six seeds out of here for Ashley. She really likes hot peppers. And so I will be growing those. And then uh, the Shantaka, Shantaka, I think that's how you say it. I think this is John's at Will It Grow. Um, I think this is his pepper um, that he crossed with a ghost pepper. So it's uh, also a hot pepper. And I took, I took a dozen of these seeds there were quite a few in there. 
again it didn't make a it didn't make a huge dent um, but I will be growing probably half of these this year now I'll probably just end up growing all of these this year and then sharing some of the plants with um, some friends because um, I am starting a bunch of uh, plants for friends to share with them this year so those are the packets that I got for myself along with these um, Grandpa Gillick Cargis Cargills? Cargills. Cargills. Grandpa Cargills Okra. Alright, this is the pack of seeds that I am putting into the box. I have, I have a bunch of seeds. I didn't realize that I could put so many seeds in the box. Big Rainbow Heirloom Tomatoes. Cucumber Lemon. And then I have two packs of Anasazi beans. Rattlesnake pole beans, also an heirloom. Jubilee tomato, again, heirloom. Dwarf kale, also an heirloom. This Cherokee wax bean. I have iceberg lettuce seed. Butter crunch lettuce seed there. Celery, this is the celery that I'm growing in the high tunnel. The Catskill Brussels sprouts, mixed bell pepper seeds. These are small and large. I had kids helping me, so they kind of got all mixed together. You're welcome. Broccoli. These are Small Wonder um, Spaghetti Squash that I got from Haas Tools last year. Heavy producers. Very, very heavy producers. I planted two plants and had a lot to eat as they were coming off of the uh, vine. Um, I saved some just to see how long they would keep. Uh, they don't keep very long, so these are definitely something that you would um, want to eat um, through the season. Fresh. New Zealand spinach. Danvers carrots. I have red Russian kale. Here's some Haas Tools broad leaf mustard. Here's an heirloom kale. It is a mixed blend. It has a little bit of, I think it is six or seven heirloom kale. Some jalapeno seeds that we saved from last year's. Bib lettuce. I think that's it guys. These are all the seeds that I'm going to bag back up and stick all this back into the box. And then I'm going to mail it to one of you guys. So don't forget, comment below if you would like to participate in this um, seed swap and I will get that um, this box out to you at, like tomorrow so yeah comment below and we will see you guys in our next video bye now